afternoon. Welcome to La Charente. Uh, that's uh, French there. Uh, just in case you were wondering if I'd lost my mind. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to learn the language. <laughs> Lots of people say, you need to learn French. I'm trying, I'm trying. So it's been a bit of a strange day. Strange couple of days, actually. Uh, trying, trying not to do anything. It's kind of impossible. I've had a busy morning. I'll show you what I did uh, this morning at the end of the video. But, um, yeah, now what I thought I'd do is uh, just talk about uh, a couple of uh, comments I got today which deserve a little bit of attention because I'm sure when two people comment there's probably 200 people that are thinking something similar and uh, so yeah I've been uh, you know trying to grow the channel try and get more people watching uh, yeah viewers is viewers is what makes the channel um, grow subscribers yeah not so much uh, so I'm guessing maybe let's let's see if we could lose some subscribers. I tell you, if you're miserable, then unsubscribe, please. Right now, if you are on misery guts, please unsubscribe. This is a light-hearted channel. I don't take life seriously at all. What I do take seriously is nature. And nature, as far as I'm concerned, is the only thing that matters. Anything else, anything else, um, doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, if you're a bit miserable or you're offended by someone asking for your help, then unsubscribe. If you find someone reaching out and saying, can you give me a hand with this? If you're offended by that, go. I don't want you to watch. But if you're lighthearted and you like a giggle and you're interested in the real world, not the nonsense world on television, the real world. If you're interested in the real world, hang around. This could be fun. And if you can afford it and you want to and you're that way inclined and you can give me a hand, great. If not, don't panic, don't stress. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I want in my life, you know, whether people want to help or not. I'm just, you know, the more the merrier. That's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can lose, lose some subscribers. Let's, let's get rid of the miseries and those that are easily offended. Go and, go and watch someone else. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I've, uh, it's been a strange day. It's been, it's been like, um, you know when you've got a pile of dishes and you just keep looking at them going, I've got to do that, I've got to do that. And it's annoying you that you're not doing it. Well, that's what, that's what it's been like the last couple of days, really. Not really doing much, having plenty to do. So this morning I was like, well, yeah, your balls hurt, but your balls will hurt tomorrow. So you just got to crack on and get some work done. Um, so, yeah, I'll, what I'll do, rather than uh, showing snippets, the last couple of minutes of this video I'll just, I'll just let run. And if you want to hang around and uh, watch what I was up to, then, uh, then you can. So a big thank you for all your comments. Uh, I don't think I've got one negative comment about that blue paint. That's unheard of, isn't it? One paint colour that everyone loves, that's amazing, isn't it? Anyway, so I'm going to buy a nice big tin of that. Yes, it's expensive. But I think it'll make a massive, um, massive difference in the house having a bit of colour. And I'm going to try and look for a kind of a light grey uh, for the walls. And I'm not sure should... It was quite interesting actually listening to people. Yeah, saying, some people saying that the door frame should be white. And I kind of had it in my head that the door frame would be blue as well. So that's quite interesting. Uh, anyway, I'm going to play with that idea. And uh, yeah, I think that'll make a an amazing difference in the house. So I'm just wandering around the paddock. This is my little, uh, my little paradise really, if I'm honest. It's my little taste of paradise before I go off to heaven. Because <laughs> maybe heaven's not all it's cracked up to me. Uh, but at least I can experience a little bit of paradise. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I've got some interesting ideas about what to put in here. Donkeys and llamas. Uh, there's a saying in the farming world, in the homesteading world, uh, no freeloaders <laughs> and I kind of get it because all animals have to be fed and uh, as someone quite rightly pointed out ponies not that Dave's there um, ponies can be very expensive when it comes to uh, veterinary treatment or all animals can I guess so um, I think whatever lives in this in this field is going to have to you know earn its keep if you know what I mean there's a guideline, I think, in the farming world too, that an acre of land 
some of you can correct me if I'm wrong and I've misheard. An acre of land can support a thousand pounds of animals. So like 200 five pound chickens or five 200 pound goats or sheep. So yeah, this field, this paddock is exactly one acre. Yeah, there's a small field there of quarter acre as well. And the orchard is about a quarter of an acre. Um, so yeah, that's worth bearing in mind as well. I quite like Cooney Cooney pigs. Um, I watch uh, Jason uh, sow the land. Lovely channel, lovely family. And uh, the guy's the guy's an inspiration. He definitely is because he's had ill health and all sorts, and he battles through, and he's just moved to a bigger farm, and he's you know he's learning, and you're watching him learn, and he's fantastic. Well, I'm kind of following in his footsteps, and uh, he's got Cooney Cooney pigs. And uh, there's a couple of channels, there's a, there's a channel in Portugal, or a couple of channels in Portugal that I watch, they've got Cooney Cooney pigs. And I kind of think, yeah, Cooney Cooney pigs, they look quite cool. So yeah, they're on my mind. Obviously chickens. I eat a lot of chicken, but I don't think I eat really any chicken eggs. If I eat four a month, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, yeah, I tend, to, uh, I tend to throw them out when I buy them. Um, so yeah, I'm still looking for ideas of what to do with this bit of land. And that's what I need you guys for. So uh, yeah, if you want to stick around and help me with this project, not quite sure where we're going, not quite sure what we're going to do with it, but it'll be a fun journey. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you what I did this morning. Uh, if you want to stick around and watch, if not, I'll see you soon.